Hello guys, welcome back to the FE exam review series where I cover the most common FE problems that you need to know to pass your FE exam. Oh yeah, everybody now. So the first topic we're going to cover in the FE exam review series is math and statistics and we're going to do a problem in confidence interval which falls under part D statistics. Now let's dive in. Let's take a look at the question. So we have 35 steel specimens were subjected to a tensile load to obtain the yield strength. The standard deviation is 2.7 and the sample mean is 250 megapascal. And we want to determine the 90% confidence interval for the yield strength of the steel. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to give you guys a hint and then you're going to try to attempt the problem and then you can come back to the video and watch the solution. It's very important that you guys attempt the problems when you are studying for the FE, okay? Because that's how you're going to learn from your mistakes and then you're going to remember these concepts for your FE. Now, whenever you see confidence interval, always think about the Z distribution and the T distribution, okay? So go to the reference handbook and type confidence interval and then those two equations will show up on the reference handbook and then what you can do is try to look at those equations and then see which one is going to help us determine the 90 percent confidence interval for this problem okay now with that information why don't you guys give it a try and i will see you in a little bit by the way guys if you want more fe problems make sure to check out our courses where we cover everything that you need to pass your fe exam Okay, so if we go to the reference handbook, here you guys will see that we have two equations for the confidence interval. The first equation, this is the Z distribution, and then here we have the T distribution. Now, the question is, when do we use the Z distribution and when do we use the T distribution? What I'm going to actually do now is go to our cheat sheet. Now, I know a lot of you guys have downloaded it. If you haven't downloaded it yet and you're new to this channel, go ahead and download it. It has really important concepts and equations that are not covered on the reference handbook and you got to make sure that you know it before you take your FE exam. So you can download the cheat sheet uh, in this link here, okay? So now let's take a look at what we have here. So we have confidence interval and we have a little bit of concepts on the Z and the T distribution. So for the Z distribution, we can use it when the sample size, which is N, is above 30 and also when we have the standard deviation, okay? And the T distribution, we use it when the sample size is below 30 and the standard deviation is unknown. Now, if you guys remember from our problem, so let me go back to our problem here, we have 35 steel specimens, right? So which means N is above 30 and then also we are giving the standard deviation. So which means we're going to actually use the Z distribution equation, okay? Now, if we take a look at this equation here, so we have X bar, which is the sample mean, which was given to us in the problem, sigma, that's the standard deviation, and then N, that's the sample size, which is given to us as well. The only value that we don't have is the Z alpha over 2, but here it says that Z alpha over two value, you can find it on table 75 on the reference manual. So if you go back to the reference manual and we go to this page here, 75, you guys will see that. So in the problem, right, we need to find the 90% confidence interval, right? So if we take a look at this table, the Z value or the Z alpha over two value, it's going to be this value here because it corresponds to the 90% confidence interval, okay? So now let's write the equation down and then just start plugging the numbers. So as we said, guys, this is the equation that we're going to use. Now, what I did here, I just combined the two equations since they are actually the same. The only difference is this one is negative and this one is positive, which is the same as just saying plus or minus, right? So now let's plug in all the numbers. So we have X bar, like we said earlier, that is the sample mean, which is 250 megapascal and then we're going to do plus or minus now the z value we already grabbed it from the table on page 75 and we said it's 1.6 and then 449 and then we're going to multiply it by the standard deviation which is 2.7 and then divide it by the square root of n and n is the uh, sample size which is 35. Now, if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator for the 250 minus this term you're going to get 
25. And then for the second term where we add these two terms, we're going to get 250.75. Okay, so the answer is going to be A. For the next video, if you guys want to see a problem on ellipse, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Now, if you guys want more FE problems, go ahead and check out this playlist here. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future FE problems. Now, in the meantime, if you guys have any questions about the FE, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah,